lumber package just showed up so we can start building the subfloor. Here, Brendan and I start working on laying down the seal gasket. While Brendan was in southern Idaho, I had time to measure the seal plates um, where the anchor bolts go in. So I laid the seal plates up on top of the stem wall and kind of banged them down, took some measurements, and actually was, had time to square up the building. So when she came back, we could just lay the seal plates on there and get on with the build. Um, so I actually drilled out the holes, put them back on there, re-measured them, uh, make sure I had my uh, three, four, five angles were all good. We just finished putting down the pink uh, sill gasket. Um, it took about four rolls, so we have some extra. And now we're gonna put on the sill plates. So it looks like we're doing this pretty quickly, but that's because I cut out the holes already and we could just lay them down. One of the things I'm gonna be working on today is getting my water storage tank set up. So on this property, uh, there used to be a house here and they had a cistern. This is the cistern right here. And there used to be a miniature like log cabin building that sat on top of this. It actually went around in the ground. The logs went inside the ground and around it. And there was a fire here and it burnt the burnt the house down and the trees around it and just kind of like destroyed the property uh, but it didn't really hurt the trees around it. The fire department came out and they couldn't save the structure they just didn't want the forest to burn. And uh, so the cistern down here is plumbed. It used to be plumbed where uh, there was the pump came up out of the cistern and a pump down in those tubes and then it went over into the house. 
Well, I don't have time to build a building over right now, so what I want to do is I'm going to put my 2,500 gallon water tank inside my crawl space and get that plumbed in. I'm not going to plumb it today, I just want to get it set so that I can plumb it later. So that's what I'm going to be working on today. So this is the hole that I dug. Uh, it took me about two and a half days, probably three days. Um, it's about eight feet wide in circumference and about four feet, four feet down. And uh, so we're going to set the cistern in here. Uh, I'm going to turn it this way so the valves are facing that way. Um, and then this will be my underground water storage. I got enough room on the sides so that uh, if it expands and contracts during the summer and winter months, um, there'll be a little room on the, on the uh, sides. So uh, now we're going to try to get this thing installed. After a couple tries, we actually got it in. Uh, we had to dig out the walls just a little bit more, but uh, I got it where I want it, and I ran the string line, the orange string line you can see there on the distance it is from the top. So when my floor joists go on top, you can see how much room I'll have to take the lid off. So pretty happy with this. Now we can move on to the next phase and start framing the girders and putting on the floors. My friend Martin Johnson came over today with his tractor to help us backfill our um, stem wall. So we're going to go ahead and do a time lapse of this. Yeah, I was speaking with Martin a couple days ago and he asked me how I wanted to backfill and if I needed his help. And I said, yeah, we got a couple shovels if you want to help us. And he started laughing. He's like, well, I have a tractor. He can bring it over. And so as we were working this day, uh, he gave me a phone call, wanted to know if I was available to have him come over and do the backfill. And I was like, oh man, yes, that'd be great. So um, he showed up in the afternoon and we just started, stopped, uh, stopped the build and started doing the backfill, which was a huge stress relief for me because I wanted to get this wall um, underground or, uh, you know, kind of secured. And so, Martin came over with his tractor and as you watch in the video, he did a really good job uh, pushing the dirt around and us raking everything up, getting it kind of smoothed out, getting a proper level um, so the water can drain off. That was really important. And as we work around the other side of the building, um, when Scott came over and used the excavator, he dumped the dirt away from the building so that we can move around. and. So Martin kind of has to go down the hill uh, that Scott made and come back up and push the dirt, as you can see him doing right there. He's, he's coming up the hill and pushing it. And in the future, we'll have a deck off the front of the house. And so that'll be kind of nice, um, have a nice gentle slope to walk down. And there was plenty of dirt to move. So as we backfill where the septic tank is, we're going to do that at a later date, but there's still a lot of dirt that can be dumped over there. Here we are just kind of finishing, doing the final touches on it and filling that right side of the building. And there's some low spots and uh, Martin has to track or haul the dirt all the way from the front of the house and around uh, to dump it over there. And Martin's kind of smoothing the ground out for us so we can get that proper level.
So we finished putting in the uh, dirt, moving the dirt up against the wall. Thank you, Martin. You did an awesome job. I'll show you guys what this looks like. It's not all filled in all the way. We still got some plumbing to do, and so we'll we'll get that stuff filled in later. But uh, I'll turn you around and show you what it looks like. This is the portion of the wall that we didn't get filled in. We got our septic tank coming out here. Um, this was burnt in the house fire, so we need to redo this, but it's gonna go in right over there. And we're gonna put a door in, get that uh, closed off, and then we'll finish filling in the dirt here. But um, take a look at this. It looks pretty good. Got it up to the wall, got a, a nice slope going. So the water will drain away from the house. Martin did a very good job with his tractor. We appreciated him coming all the way over here to help us. One thing about uh, homesteading up here in Idaho, it's people that you know and the relationships and the friendships that you make that make it all worthwhile. So I know that if he needed help, I could come over and help him. And if I need help, he'll come over here. And that's, that's the same with uh, all of our friends up here in North Idaho. That's one of the great things about living up here, but this is what it looks like. Real happy with the work. Gonna finish up tomorrow, trying to get the beam or the pier put in right there, right here on these three, and then those three that go that way. And uh, get those set, start building the support beam for the floor joists. 